Britain has always been a lodestar of freedom and democracy. But these freedoms need to be advanced, particularly at a time of immense global change. The democratic world order faces a stark choice. Either we retreat and retrench in the face of malign actors, or we club together and we advance the cause of freedom. My vision is to strengthen our economic and security ties in order We can only challenge malign actors from a position of strength. And we will deliver this through better security, better trade, and better development support. On security, we're striking new pacts to protect our sea routes, trade routes, and freedoms. AUKUS, our new partnership with the US and Australia, will help Australia acquire nuclear-powered submarines to defend their territorial waters. We're in talks with Japan about better military access and operational support between our two countries. We want closer security ties with key allies like India and Canada, who we can collaborate with to fight in cyber and improve our defense capability. And we're demonstrating all of this through the visible armed presence of our carrier strike group. We're spending more than 2% of GDP on defense, the biggest since the Cold War. I want our allies, from the Baltic to the Tasman, to know that Britain stands with them and that together we will stand up to our adversaries and promote the cause of freedom. Yeah. And our friends across the Commonwealth, Israel, South Korea, the Gulf states. Those it's important we trade with China but we must make sure it's reliable trade, that it avoids strategic dependency, and that it doesn't involve the violation of intellectual property rights or forced technology transfer. The world is safer and more prosperous when countries abide by their international obligations. The freer a country is, the wealthier it is, the more secure it is, the greener it is. It's less likely to harbor terrorists and radical fundamentalists. It's less likely to have huge migration outflows, and it's less likely to go to war. Freedom enables businesses to flourish. It enables people to flourish. It enables girls and women to flourish. It's the best way to influence the world and to tackle the great issues of our age. We're working on new tech deals with the US and Singapore because we want global technology standards to be shaped by... Our AUKUS agreement will make Britain safer, and it will create hundreds of jobs, from the shipyards of Govan to the factories of Tyneside. Our new cleaner, greener investment into developing countries will mean more jobs for British architects, engineers, and technologists. This is the work I will do as Foreign Secretary, banging the dumb drum for Britain abroad to deliver for people here at home.